Yes, you, you, who's watching this video right now. If you wanna know how to make some, I mean, floating shelves that look like they didn't come from the DT, if you don't know what the DT is, that is the Dollar Tree. Keep on watching. <laughs> oh my God, I'm, I just, I don't know. showing you guys something like oh my gosh I can't believe that I did this with Dollar Tree products if you're new welcome I'm Ashley I think I said that already <laughs> um, but I do a lot of DIYs and I do furniture flips shop with me's hauls yeah so if you like all of that stuff make sure you click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so you always be up to date with my latest tutorials so today I'm doing these floating shelves and they look amazing and I'm super like excited about them because I mean I saw this picture on Pinterest and I was like I have to try this with something from the Dollar Tree because I mean who doesn't love the Dollar Tree? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to recreate this picture in a way. So let's get into the materials. The main materials you're going to need for this project are three canvas pictures, faux wood liner, paint, and burlap ribbon. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our vinyl faux wood liner and we are going to wrap it around our canvas. So now we're gonna remove the sawtooth hanger part and we are going to be putting that back on later. So now what we're gonna do is just we're gonna take our glue gun and we're going to start to glue our vinyl onto the canvas. All right, so when we get to our edges, you're just gonna push down the one edge and then you're gonna get two flaps. So that first flap, you're gonna glue it down and then you're gonna glue down your second flap on top of that one. We are gonna continue this method around the whole entire canvas. Now we're gonna start to cut and glue any excess vinyl that we do have left over so that we can clean up the back a little bit. Okay, so to make sure that this is really secure, I'm going to use my staple gun, but if you do not have a staple gun, you can just use your hot glue gun or you can mix your E6000 with your hot glue for the extra security. Okay, so now we're gonna start to construct our bottom portion of this floating shelf. We're gonna take our third canvas, and what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna measure out how long it is, and then I'm going to measure where my half point should be, and we're just going to cut this canvas in half. Now, I'm gonna use my table saw to cut this in half, but if you don't have a table saw, you can definitely use a hacksaw that you can purchase from the Dollar Tree. So now I'm going to take this scrap piece of wood that I've had left over and I'm just going to use this so that it can be our base for our canvas since 
you know, the middle part of the canvas won't have any security there. Now, if you don't want to use wood, you can definitely you just use poster board or something and cut it out to shape and place it in the center if you would like. But I'm just going to be using this scrap piece of wood. You can get this piece of wood from Lowe's. It's an eight foot piece. Um, I think it costs about a dollar and 30 or something like that. But if I can find the link on the Lowe's website, I will definitely link it down below. But this wood costs less than two bucks. So here I'm just taking this to my miter saw and I'm cutting where I marked my um, cut marks. Now, if you don't have a miter saw, if you buy this wood from Lowe's, you can just measure out where you need the wood to be and they will gladly cut the wood to size for you. Okay, so now we're gonna add our bottom portion to the top and we're just gonna make sure that it is going in the same direction as the wood grain on the top. Now we're gonna do that same exact thing and we are going to just wrap our vinyl around the bottom. Now I do recommend wrapping it around the whole entire thing so that you won't be able to see the wood. I didn't do that, but you're gonna need to do that, especially of course if it's gonna be on the wall because you'll be able to see that bottom half. So again, when we get to our edges here, you're just going to simply fold it down in half just like you would if you were wrapping a present. Then we're going to glue it and we are going to staple it. Now this part is optional as well. You can keep it the faux just wood color if you would like or you can do what I'm doing and I'm just dry brushing on white paint so that I can get a whitewashed effect. One tip though is if you do wipe it off, um, make sure that you just go back over it with the paint because you will be able to see like the vinyl print. So just make sure you go back over it but wiping it does help to blend. But again, just make sure you go back over it with a little bit of paint so that you can hide any of the imprints that might show through. So now with my E6000 and hot glue, we are going to add our base to the back of our floating shelf. So for extra security, I just took my nail gun and put some nails in the back of our floating shelf. Now, if you don't have a nail gun, you can definitely just get long wood screws and screw them in. And this will just make sure everything is just held together really tightly, depending on what you want to set on your shelf. Now, the next thing we're going to do is just add our twine to the bottom and the top. 
and then we are going to start to twist it around so it will give it a thicker rope effect and then it'll look like you know our shelves are kind of like held together with that rope Now the last step is just adding our sawtooth hanger part back onto the back and all I'm going to do is just take my hammer and I'm going to eyeball where the center would be and just hammer it back into place. enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a big a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys